switch that bass, keep it shit jumping. Hello Johnny, it is the 9th of January 2016, so welcome to Super Saturday Vlogs Week 82. <sighs> now today, the one of the first things that you will have noticed is the Reading game. The FA Cup fixture, we are away at Huddersfield, who are a few places, like five or six places actually, below us in the league table. We drew two all with them. We thought we'd basically lost it. Lucky deflection, we got an equaliser. Lucky goal from Harrelson Canoe, and it was Harrelson Canoe's first goal in over a year for us, or around about a year for us. And to make it 2 1, we thought we'd won it. They get a late penalty, and everyone's like, the ref was crap. So, uh, yeah, here are some of the <laughs> highlights and my reactions from the game. Huddersfield take the lead. 11 and a half minutes into the second half. A good move down the left hand side. The ball delivered in and Patterson heads it home past Ali Arhamsi. So a good header and Huddersfield leading Reading by a goal to nil, but Reading have got time to try and get themselves back into this FA Cup tie. Big back advantage to him. Ball to Victor. Victor running down the left hand side. No one in support. Victor now switched on to his right foot. Oh, Victor scores! Massive deflection and into the top corner. Mate Vidra, how much did his team need that goal? And how much did Mate Vidra need that goal? He points to the fans and down the left hand side, Vidra fumbles the ball in. That was a really good finish. He did well to get it under control. He ran down the left and found the space to shoot from. And Mate Vidra is the man who puts Reading back level. He has an out to McCleary. McCleary lovely reversed it to Piazza. Piazza keeps on going. He goes square. Robson Canoe gets a shot off. 2 1 to Reading. How Robson Canoe with a winner in the third round of the FA Cup to get Reading into the fourth round hat if they can survive the next four minutes. It's Huddersfield 1, Reading 2. Well, the referee's given a penalty. I don't believe it. Was that just outside the box? Was it just outside the box or was it just inside the box? But he wasn't going to need a second look, the referee. And two minutes into stoppage time, he's given Huddersfield a penalty to a replay. Narky Wells in stoppage time from the penalty spot to level it up. He does. Fires it beneath Ali al -Hapsi. And it looks like it's going to be a replay. Three minutes of stoppage time left. Yeah, you can um, sort of see why everyone thought the ref was crap and you can see why it was a controversial game but uh, 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 an action-packed game especially in the second half because the first half was rubbish and another footnote actually you none of you have known this I've kept this very secretive but I think for about a week now I've been doing regular exercise trying to lose a bit of weight so we might as well do a cross trainer montage I mean why wouldn't you? Aside from the Reading game, I know James and the others met up today, but 
the meetup was at Budgeons at half twelve, and I guess what time I woke up? Twenty five past twelve. So I was like, nah, not really feeling up to it, you know. And I had a sore throat, and the sore throat is coming back now. I've only been talking for like two, three minutes, if that, and it's hurting again. But you know, I'm sure chewing gum will um, help that. You know. That's one of the main features of chewing gum. You know, it even says on here, the main features of chewing gum are to help cure sore throats. Recognise this? Oh. Still in the original sort of packaging. Not much of it, but it's still in the original packaging. I got this, along with another one, which I only watched yesterday. I got this for my birthday which was October 15th nearly three months ago it's been sat uh, under a massive pile of DVDs and for nearly three months I've forgotten about this so I'm watching that tonight I should have watched that nearly three months ago how did I forget it was there? you got to forget it's there right as you can probably tell I've just got back from working out you know obviously the hoodies off and just left with the blooming t-shirt and another last little footnote before I sign off is that as you probably won't know I'm well I'm gonna tell you now anyway I'm getting a new phone battery for the Samsung Galaxy S3 mini because basically when I record for like 10 seconds or more with this now it just decides to turn off and it won't turn on again unless I'm fortunate or if I put it on charge, unless I put it on charge, you know, fine. If I turn on the Wi-Fi, you know, internet connection, um, it decides to turn off. At, well, it becomes really laggy, which is an indication that it's going to turn off, and then proceeds to turn off. And then, what else? Even when I'm, like, playing a game, it decides to turn off. Like, when I'm playing Race the Stig, which is a Top Gear game, in case any of you don't know, aren't familiar with that, I'm like, yes, come on, oh, for God's sake, really, really. So, and I took the battery out, put it back in. It made it worse. You know, look at the uh, date and time. Yeah. As you can tell, it says it is currently... 6.27 a.m. on Wednesday, the 1st of January. The thing is, if you go into settings and then select date and time, it's not, it doesn't say it's 6.27 a.m. on New Year's Day 2015 or 2016. Set date, 1st of the 1st, 2014 just shows you I've only had this phone for like nearly 15 months so the battery hasn't lasted that long but as I just mentioned I'm getting a new battery um, hopefully that will be arriving tomorrow so by the time you next you will see me next on Tuesday hopefully I have a big smile on my face and saying no it it doesn't say it's New Year's Day on 2014 and it's 6 in the morning it now says, you know, quarter to ten on the 9th of January 2016. Isn't that great, Johnny? You know how, how you said in your last vlog on Thursday, I believe it was, or was it Tuesday? No, I think it was Thursday you mentioned. I hadn't really covered this subject of Nick Blackman, our top goal scorer for this season. <sighs> Moving to Derby. Well, on Tuesday, when Sod's Law... Um, he plays against us. I will talk more about that and say whether he was a knob for moving or if Brian McDermott was a knob for letting, it, letting him go or whether I thought it was right to let him go because he's only had half a good season in three years and you know his form recently although he did score a crucial goal against Bristol City to help us get the three points instead of just the one point whether I think he's starting to go slightly off the boil yeah so now you've seen uh, my fail at the DVD that was sat there for three months and I forgot about it and you've seen the highlights of my reaction from the Reading game and what else is there 
you've seen the cross trainer montage so that's it for me Johnny and to everyone else because we have to involve the audience more the 14 subscribers who aren't me and you Johnny so thank you to everyone thank you to every single person for watching this video and I will see you all on Tuesday